Hello everyone. Here we have Cotty on the scale. She weighs 8.85, 8.9 ounces. And as I feed her more cookies, she gains more weight. She likes to spit half her cookies out. But um, this is a Mettler Toledo PS60. Um, and we need to change this from pounds only to pounds and ounces. So I'll show you how to do that real quick here. I'm gonna have to move you, Cotty. Here we go. Oh, she's getting heavy. More cookies I feed her. She likes her cookies. So I ended up getting a hold of the service manual for this, and it comes up with a programming menu. Don't worry, I already backed up my firmware. I'll link my blog in the uh, description so you can see see that I backed up my firmware. Um, but we're gonna reprogram this per the instructions. So first we're gonna unplug it. We're gonna remove the top. We're gonna grab a about 932 or seven millimeter socket. We're gonna remove that screw, remove this cover plate. Now we have access to the main board which I purchased a scale second hand uh, with a broken USB port and replaced the USB port and it's been working for a couple of years. So no problems. Let's zoom in here. We want to focus on this jumper, that blue jumper right there. That is your calibration uh, or programming jumper. We're going to remove that jumper just gonna set it right there and we're gonna set the screw aside we're gonna put the cover back on we're gonna plug it in she's booting okay so per the instructions, where it says Mettler here, the two little arrows, you're gonna press and hold that for eight seconds. I'm not gonna count. Okay, now we're in setup mode. So we have the menu here. We are going to look for build. Where it says build, it says see build chart and then the build options right there most c scales are set up at 150 ni or 1505 okay we want 149 ni and if you look at their other chart now I'll, I'll link this pdf in the description um if you look at the ps 60 PS 6 L 149 NI is pounds and ounces. So 150.05, which most of them are, uh, is uh, just pounds. So we want pounds and ounces. So let's scroll down to use this, this button to scroll. Build 150 N5. Okay. We want to use this button to select 149 NI. Okay, 149 NI is selected and you're going to go back. And then you're going to keep hitting this button until you get to end. End. Then you're going to hit the zero button and you're going to hit the zero button again until you get to save. And then you're going to hit the back button and it reboots. Now we are pounds and ounces. So my cup of coffee weighs one pound, 12 ounces. How much does Cotty weigh in ounces? Do you want cookies? If there's paper on here, she'll sit on here. So 
you won't freak out. I wouldn't like the cold scale either. Oh, let's weigh Kai. She weighs eight pounds, 14 ounces. Now this will void your calibration. Um, so you'll have to recalibrate, which is not a problem if you're just using it for, you know, postage. Um, if you're using it for something like food or something you have to have certified, then yeah, you'll want to go out and buy a PS6L and have it certified and everything. But this for just common everyday uh, shipping, it works just fine. Going from pounds only to pounds and ounces without having to spend the money on a PS6L. She wants more cookies. Okay, I'm gonna have to move you because I have to put this thing back together. <laughs> okay, so putting it back together is just the reverse of taking it apart. Unplug it. Now, I've been using the scale, no, no problem. I use the computer software, so I don't really use the display. But, you know, having to light up the computer software every time I want to use it to be able to get ounces. Um, it was kind of a chore. Oops. Don't forget. I yeah, almost forgot. Sitting there talking, blabbing away. Don't forget to put your jumper on so your calibration and everything's saved. Line up your hole. Tighten her down. Ooh, that was loud. And then plug it back in. And she will still be on pounds and ounces. There it is. Now that socket should weigh about one ounce. Hope that helps. Um, see y'all later.